In today's video, we embark on an exploration of Donald Trump's reactions during times of crisis, particularly in the face of attacks. As the 45th President of the United States, Trump's responses to various incidents were a subject of intense scrutiny and public interest. Join us as we examine his statements, actions, and the ensuing debates surrounding his approach to these challenging situations. By gaining a deeper understanding of Trump's reactions, we can shed light on the complex dynamics of leadership and crisis management. If you're fascinated by political analysis and want to stay informed about the latest developments, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll receive regular updates on thought-provoking topics like this one, ensuring that you never miss our insightful content. On January 6, 2021, a mob of Donald Trump supporters attacked the United States Capitol building in an attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. Trump's actions and words during the attack have been the subject of much debate and scrutiny. In the lead-up to the attack, Trump repeatedly made false claims about the election being stolen from him. He also urged his supporters to come to Washington, D.C. on January 6 to protest the results of the election. On the day of the attack, Trump gave a speech to his supporters in which he repeated his false claims and encouraged them to march to the Capitol building. Once the mob reached the Capitol, they broke through police barricades and stormed the building. They vandalized the building, stole government property, and assaulted police officers. Five people died as a result of the attack. Trump's reaction to the attack has been widely criticized. He initially praised his supporters for their patriotism and did not condemn the violence. It took several hours for him to call for an end to the attack. In the days and weeks following the attack, Trump continued to make false claims about the election and downplayed the severity of the violence. He also refused to take responsibility for his role in inciting the attack. Trump's reaction to the January 6 attack has been widely condemned by historians, legal experts, and members of both political parties. Many have accused him of inciting the violence and failing to protect the Capitol building. Timeline of Trump's actions and words during the attack At 10 a.m., Trump gives a speech to his supporters in which he repeats his false claims about the election being stolen from him and encourages them to march to the Capitol building. At noon, the mob of Trump supporters reaches the Capitol building and breaks through police barricades. At 1 p.m., Trump supporters enter the Capitol building and begin vandalizing it and stealing government property. At 1.30 p.m., Vice President Mike Pence and other members of Congress are evacuated from the Capitol building. At 2 p.m., Trump tweets a message to his supporters saying, stay peaceful. At 2.30 p.m., Trump tweets a message to his supporters saying, we love you. You're very special. At 3 p.m., Trump tweets a message to his supporters saying, we will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. At 4 p.m., Trump tweets a message to his supporters saying, Mike Pence didn't dare to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. USA demands the truth. At 5 p.m., Trump released a video message in which he called for an end to the violence at the Capitol building. At 6 p.m., the mob of Trump supporters leaves the Capitol building. Trump's actions and words during the January 6 attack have been the subject of much debate and scrutiny. Some have argued that Trump incited the violence by repeatedly making false claims about the election being stolen from him and encouraging his supporters to come to Washington, D.C. on January 6 to protest the results of the election. Others have argued that Trump's words were protected by the First Amendment and that he did not explicitly call for violence. Trump has also been criticized for his failure to condemn the violence more forcefully. It took several hours for him to call for an end to the attack. He also continued to make false claims about the election and downplayed the severity of the violence in the days and weeks following the attack. Donald Trump's reaction to the January 6 attack has been widely condemned by historians, legal experts, and members of both political parties. Many have accused him of inciting the violence and failing to protect the Capitol building. Whether Trump's actions and words rise to the level of impeachable offenses is a matter of debate. However, there is no doubt that his behavior on January 6 was a stain on his presidency and American democracy. In conclusion, examining Donald Trump's reactions to attacks offers valuable insights into the multifaceted nature of leadership and crisis management. Throughout his presidency, Trump faced various incidents that demanded swift and empathetic responses. 
While his reactions were diverse and often subject to controversy, they shed light on the complexities of navigating challenging situations on the political stage. We invite you to continue exploring political topics and engaging in informed discussions. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on thought-provoking content and share your thoughts in the comment section. Together, let us foster a respectful and insightful dialogue that contributes to a deeper understanding of the complexities of political leadership. Thank you for joining us on this journey of analyzing Donald Trump's reactions to attacks. We look forward to continuing our exploration of compelling topics that shape our world.